Here we're going to be creating an invoice document using Octave to deliver to our customer. Here we have an invoice that we've already posted, we have an order set up for it, and when we flip over to the related tab we can see we already have invoice lines set up, each of them with a different payment type and uh, some other ways that we'll want to display them. We see some other fields that we'll also reference on this invoice document, and now that we have it configured the way we'd like, we'll start by clicking Create Octave Invoice button in the upper right. Once my document loads, I'll see, again, variables previewed here in yellow, pulling in values from that invoice record. And on my left side on the table of contents with pages and sections, when I click the preview toggle, it will display the invoice lines the way that I've configured in my template. In this case, grouping them by one time and recurring fees. I also have the opportunity to edit this document in line. Here I can click into the comments box and add any text that I'd like to before sending it out. Now that I have my document ready to send, I'll click publish, which creates the view that the customer will see with all of the invoice lines showing and the variables locked in. And then I'll go through and on the next steps panel, it walks me through adding people. In this case, I'll manually enter in my contacts information. And once I have Gavin added here, I'll submit it. And then I'm prompted to send out that email using Octave as well. I'll add my recipient. I have a chance to edit that default email if I choose to. We'll stick with the default and we'll send it out. In my inbox is the recipient. I'll receive the branded email from the sender via Octave. And the button is linked to me as a recipient. Clicking it logs me in as that recipient, and I'm able to see that same web view of the document that my owner showed earlier. I would be able to see any comments they might have added, see all the lines added out, and with Octave, there's also a call to action other than acceptance, so I can ask a question directly on this document, which will be sent to that document owner. For the invoice case, these may all be owned by the billing team or uh, an accounting user that is creating these documents out of Salesforce. Once my recipient has viewed it, as the document owner, I have some additional insights that I can look at in Octave. So back on my document, I'll look over at the reporting tab or the tracking tab. This is where I can start to see some more stats on who has viewed the document and, and for how long. This is in addition to any real-time notifications that I would be getting as the document owner based on my user preferences. So text notifications, emails. Here you can see I'm actually digging into per recipient and per page on that document, who has viewed the document and for how long. In the invoicing example, this is helpful when on the real-time notification side, your document owners are able to see right when they are viewing the document. You can also use that document activity to update Salesforce. So if you have a status of invoice viewed, on that invoice record, something that you can have automatically updated. And as I can see on this reporting tab, I'm also able to go in as the document owner after the fact and see who viewed the document and for how long did they view it. So now we have started with our invoice that was posted and set up in Salesforce. We had our line items configured with different payment terms and we generated an Octave invoice that we see again here, variables pulling from that invoice and invoice line items. Thank you.